Oye, mami. Naila, I shouldn't be a handsome frog. Look good anytime you step out of your body well nice and clean. Walk out from your nose to your hat and your tight up in your jeans. Thick, brown, black, brown, baby, show it all. Hey, queens and kings, it's Aisha, and welcome back to my channel. Remember the key to achieving anything you want starts with your thinking, be positive and be blessed. So in this video, I share with you guys 5 advice that I would have liked to give to my younger self and I also um, took my braids out. So this is how my hair looks when my braids are out. If you would like to see how I got my hair like this, just keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm taking out my braids and I figured that I would record while taking it out so that you guys could see how my hair looks when they're just taken out. And um, as you can see, I removed the accessories from the top. And my hair, it's gotten a bit frizzy, so I think it's just time to remove them. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about five advice that I would give to my younger self. Um, and I just thought of this because there's a lot of things that we may know now or we may handle situations differently right now than we did when we were younger. Um, and for everyone, that process is very different because some people might take years to learn a lesson while some might learn it after the first after their first mistake. So the first advice that I would give to my younger self is to not be naive. When you're younger, you tend to think that everyone is good or everyone has a good heart and they, or that they have your best interests at heart. And that is definitely not the case. You have to know when to say no and when to say yes. I feel like saying no is a struggle for a lot of people, including me. Cause it's just, it's harder to just say no to someone even if you don't really want to do something. Whether it's something really simple, it can be hard to say no. According to Google, the definition of naive is um, of a person or action showing lack of experience, wisdom, or judgment. Um, and so a lot of times you may trust people more, you may think that the situation will go the way that somebody told you that it will, and a lot of times it won't. And that's something that will happen throughout your life, but the older you get, the more you realize that um, you have to follow your gut and if you feel like something is wrong or it's not um, it's not within your values and morals then just say no no matter how hard it is you don't have to impress anybody whether that be your friends it could also be your family or whoever it is but just don't be naive so the next advice that I would give to my younger self is to be as private as possible. And with that, I mean with social media, with people around you that aren't really that close to you, people that don't really care about you. Um, when I was younger, I feel like I would just post random crap on Facebook all the time. Maybe my feelings. And uh, sometimes the Facebook memories pop up and I'm like, what the hell were you thinking? Because... That's not something that I would have shared with anybody or that I would have said at all. So I feel like social media and stuff like that, you should just use it to share photos and things that aren't too private or too personal. Um, don't share your personal and personal stuff on social media your thoughts on social media just keep them to yourself and if you really have to share your thoughts with somebody do that with a family member or a really close friend um and also like with relationships i don't think it's worth it for your relationship to be public and when i say public i don't mean if you post a picture um with your partner or whatever i just mean public in terms of everything that you guys are doing you're posting it you're trying to update everybody you're trying to flex on everybody to seem like you're a loving couple even if you are a loving couple it's just like when you post on social media sometimes there's so many vultures that are just waiting for you guys to break up um and <laughs> even the female like i remember once i did have a relationship that was that I posted on social media and the females 
would i mean that's the time when they would literally act up and start messaging him and doing all type of things even though they know you have a girlfriend so and it and sometimes it was the same people that would comment on our pictures and be like oh you guys are so cute so i mean it's not worth it at the end of the day just keep your relationship and your personal life private and i'm sure you guys will have a happier life with less stress and drama and the third advice that i would give to my younger self is to be patient um and i mean to be patient with anything sometimes you have an idea or you want to do something and you expect it to get done right away um or you have unrealistic expectations basically so you want to whatever you want to accomplish in the amount of the time frame that you give yourself sometimes it's not realistic and sometimes you need other people's opinion like not opinions but people you trust for example like your mother your parents um to put you in line because i've definitely wanted to do something before and in my head it made complete sense um but it it wasn't realistic at all and so being patient is important things don't happen when you expect it to or as you expect it to um but in time if you put in the work and you believe in whatever it is that you want to accomplish then it will come to fruition and i'm sure you will appreciate it so much more the fourth advice that i would give to my younger self is that failing is good as long as you get back up even even if you fail at something whether that's an exam or whatever anything it is it doesn't mean that that's the end of the road for that thing or that um your your life is over because once you fail it's it's kind of a part of it's a part of growing and um learning new things and once you fail you know okay like that doesn't work so maybe i should try something else so yeah failing it might be discouraging but it's a stepping stone and it it may bring you to the direction that you're supposed to go in because sometimes you think you're doing what you're supposed to do and then or you're not happy about a situation but maybe at the time you weren't strong enough to make a decision about it or to walk away from it and you failing at that thing is just i feel like i just take it as like a nudge from god saying i'll help you since you're not able to help yourself right now to let go of this thing i'll take it away from you and then you'll be able to pursue whatever it is that you wanted to pursue deep within your heart as you guys can see like my hair needs to be retightened so it's a bit fuzzy because i just retightened the front row um before i braided my hair so that's why the front might look way neater than than the the middle and the top and my fifth advice to my younger self would be not to let other people's opinion influence the way you view yourself so whether it's like teachers or family members or friends a lot of times people may give their opinion sometimes it's not with a bad intention but sometimes it's the intention is not like pure and you take that and it resonates with you and it's like you take that and you believe it for years however long it is especially if it's something negative because i feel like it's easier for people to um accept a negative thought from somebody or a negative opinion than a positive one um and so that sits with you forever and it might stop you from doing what you're supposed to be doing it might stop you for that one thing that you think about yourself now because somebody else said it to you it might stop you from from um, accomplishing your goals like, i remember um working somewhere and then it was it was for my co-op so in a co-op is basically apprenticeship and that was like a few years ago and so they had to do a review at the end of it for um for the school because you get it counts as a credit and on it 
you know like one of the areas was problem solving and i remember i was reviewing i was reviewing the sheet and what she wrote on it and it said like i got a really low score for um, problem solving and basically i'm not a good problem solver i guess for a while i feel like whenever um i was met with a challenge i would remember that time and and kind of told myself you're you're not a good problem solver and um i feel like now i'm just learning not to let that affect me because that's not true and i know that's not true because even the situation that we were in it was just a very chaotic environment in the first place so <laughs> it's like other people's problems being thrown at you and and that's just a simple example there's other things where people are i've heard um other students say like oh their guidance counselor told them that they can't be this so they should go like for example maybe a doctor or whatever and their guidance counselor at school would say you i don't think you can be a doctor so you should try something else you should go to school for something else but if a doctor is what you want to be and you know that you're willing to put in the work and you have the grades um to get into medical school then i would say you go for it and you don't like somebody's opinion um influence you because you could have two people you could write a paper and you could submit that paper to two people and one could give you a 90 for the paper and the other could give you a 60 and it doesn't mean that your paper is great and also doesn't mean your paper is horrible so at the end of the day it all depends on people's opinion because everyone has different influences around them and they have different reasons why they may interpret your work differently than someone else so just be sure to work on yourself every day so that you can grow and be a better person than you were yesterday it doesn't matter where you are right now but at the end of the day the aim should always be to grow as an individual to be kind if the only opinion that matters about you is your opinion or anybody that you really value that you know they have your best interests at heart so um i finished taking out my braids and this is what my hair looks like Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any advice that you would have liked to give your younger self. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching.